Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to talk about how you should never, ever wait for a woman to choose you. Ever. Now, before I get into what I'm going to get into, I want to say that there's nothing wrong with, you know, taking advantage of a situation where a woman is choosing you. You understand? If you see a chick choosing you and you're attracted to her, go and talk to her and make it happen. What I'm saying is, don't wait for it. You understand? Because, you know, you got a lot of different philosophies. You know, some dudes, they are on the, you know, never approach a woman or never cold approach a woman. Um, you know, and all this, they always wait for choosing signals. They'll say, I'm not approaching a girl unless she's choosing and all this other stuff, right? See, this is the thing we got, you know, I got to say about um, dudes who have that philosophy. Now, one, usually dudes who have that philosophy are guys who are scared to cold approach. They're also guys who have cold approached, but they, you know, they, they probably got played or they felt embarrassed. You understand? Or they felt a certain type of way about a chick rejecting them. So they, you know, they don't want to do it anymore. You know, it's like an ego thing. You understand? And also guys who just strictly are on that, I'm not going to approach a woman unless she's choosing, usually are just lazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going to keep it real. Right? And so that's, you know, those are a few reasons as to why they don't want a cold approach. And they're just, they'll just say, well, I'm just going to wait on a, 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 a chick. And, you know, the new thing that I'm hearing is, um, you know, guys saying cold approaching is beta. <laughs> but, I mean... If, if you guys can make sense out of that, you know, tell me, you feel what I'm saying? Um, because you know, the, the, the thing about being an alpha, you know, that's the most dominant masculine thing you can be. And men go after what they want. They don't wait for shit. You feel what I'm saying? But see, this is the thing. The, 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 the deeper reason why I'm saying don't wait for a woman to choose you is that as a man, you don't ever want to wait on a woman for anything. You understand? Because see, this is this is the this is the thing. Due to a real players, due to actually really like get in it with women, you know, like are really well versed in a game. Guys who, you know, have been with a lot of women, they know that women don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm going to say that again. Women don't know what the fuck they're doing. And I, and I, and I say that, I say that to, you know, about women. I say that with love. You understand what I'm, and what I mean is, is that women don't know where they're going. They don't know what they're doing. This is why as a man, you are the one who leads. You're the one who gives her direction. So, how are you going to wait on a woman to, you know, give you the, the signals or the signs to start the interaction with her when she don't know what the fuck she's doing? You understand? And so what you got to understand is that when you're dealing with women, you know, they're all over the place. So. For example, you know, like when you, you know, let's say you get a girl's number. It could be a girl you cold approach. It could be a girl that chose you, whatever the fuck it is, right? You get her number and you hit her up or whatever, try to make something happen. And she just doesn't return your call. And you're like, what the fuck? Like we was, we was talking, everything was cool. And then all of a sudden she ain't hit me back. Now there's, there's, there could be a lot of reasons why she's hitting you. She's not hitting you back. But the main reason really is, is that she's all over the fucking place. You understand? That's why she ain't hit you back. A lot of you guys been through all of this shit, you know, um, where you try to get with chicks one minute. Everything seems cool. The next minute, they're just like not interested. You're like, what the fuck is going on? It's because they're all over the fucking place. So how are you waiting to make your move? Based off of you waiting for this person who is all over the place to give you the cue for you to do what you want to do. That don't make no fucking sense. You understand? And see, 
it's a thing, man. This is, is another thing that is, I got a lot of shit I got to talk about in this video, man. See, guys out here don't understand what it means to be a man in relation to dealing with a woman. And when it comes to you being a man dealing with women, you always have to be the one fucking leading the situation. Always. Why? Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing and they are all over the place. You understand? Like, see, I don't like to, I don't want to compare women to children, but I'm just, you know, <laughs> just using this comparison for, for an example. You're, you're not going to follow a kid because it's because the kid doesn't know what it's doing. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm comparing women to children in, in this situation is because when it comes to the dating game, right, women don't know where they're going and what they're doing. So you, as the man, you have to be the one to give her direction, right? See, if you're going to, if you're just going to wait, if your only, uh, you know, strategy is to wait for the chick, right? To, to choose you before, before you go and approach, then you might as well let her lead in other situations in your relationship. You understand? If y'all two, you know, get together or whatever and get into a long-term relationship, she should be the one who's running the show. She should be the one who's leading the interaction because you have put yourself in a situation where your game plan was to wait on her. So how do you wait on her in one situation, but then want to dominate her in the next situation? How does that make sense? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And see, this is the thing about this whole choosing signal shit. <sighs> Man. If we're going to keep this real funky, if we're going to keep this really, really funky, I'd say like 99% of dudes are not getting choosing signals like that. And when they do get choosing signals like that, it's not a large percentage of women they are attracted to. See, look at it this way. And I talked about this before. If dudes was getting choosing signals like that and it was just like, oh, well, let me just wait on a chick to choose me, there would be no need for dating coaches. The dating coaching industry would shut down. You understand? Well, like, why are you guys listening to me? <laughs> Seriously, think about that. Why are you listening to me? Just turn off, the, turn off the video right now because it doesn't make sense that you're listening to me because all you really need to do is walk outside, wait for chicks to choose you, and then just holler at them, and then everything's going to work out. Right? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> And so you got, you got dudes on YouTube who they, they, you know, they, they want to put out this fantasy that, um, you know, that, oh, you know, chicks is just choosing me like crazy. And, you know, if you, if you have to cold approach, that means that you're not having a lot of chicks choose you because if you had a lot of chicks choosing you, you wouldn't have to cold approach bullshit, bull fucking shit. Now, see, I'm not saying that chicks won't choose because chicks will choose, but chicks are not choosing that much. And they're not choosing in a more in like a consistent um, way, meaning that if you walk outside your house today, tomorrow, whenever. Right. I want you to 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 really notice how many chicks are choosing you. I want you to notice how many chicks are choosing you that day. Then I want you to go outside the next day. I want you to notice how many chicks are choosing you. You understand? Now let's say you live in a big city. I, I live in New York, right? And so the thing is, if you guys go outside, go walk around, go to an event, whatever it is, and just look at how many chicks are choosing you, you might get a few choosing you, but I, I guarantee you it's going to be less than I'd say 10 a day that's going to be choosing you less than 10. And it's probably going to be more like two. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Maybe two, maybe two chicks a day are going to be choosing you. You understand? 
and I'm, and I mean really actually really choosing you actually really giving you choosing signals meaning like like they're eye fucking you not a chick that just looked at you for two seconds no she just can't keep her eyes off you she you know you're at a party or you're at an event and it, it, there's a chick that just keeps standing next to you you understand there's a chick that's just smiling at you extremely hard and you know she's she's pulling her hair back to her ear and she's just blushing i'm talking about how many chicks a day are doing that to you you understand see i don't know what 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 planet some of these guys are from that that they get all these choosing signals like every day to where they're like well i ain't gotta approach no girl because i just wait for the choosing signals and you know i'm just waiting for the choosing I don't know what planet y'all from, but planet Earth, that shit ain't popping off like that. I mean, let me, um, you know, please, you know, allow me to go to your planet <laughs> so I can experience this thing where you get in, you know, 10 to 15 girls. I fucking you all day looking at you, smiling at you, licking their lips at you. I want to see. I want to. Where is this planet where, you know, 10 to 15 to maybe 20 girls a day is doing this to you? You understand? I want to see this this planet you're from where, you know, 20 girls a day are just throwing themselves at you. See, you know, I've talked about this topic before, man, but I just keep I just keep seeing this shit pop up and I'm just like, yo, what's going on? And and it's funny because I'm seeing it from, you know, there, there's, there's, there's guys who talk about the choosing signal stuff. And, you know, I like a lot of their advice on other things, but this is the thing right here that I totally disagree with them on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I totally disagree with them on. You understand? Like, this is the thing. Again, if it was all about just the choosing signals and that was the, the end all be all. And, you know, that's all you had to do. You guys literally would not need to listen to me or any other dating coach. This wouldn't even be a discussion. Men would not have any issues with women. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, if dudes want to just make it an ego thing and say, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like super special because I don't, I don't have to cold approach because I get choosing signals every day. Like chicks just choose me and oh you have to cold approach <laughs> so it's so oh it's just so so bad for you I, you know I, I feel for you maybe you know you have to go cold approach because you know you don't have that many women that choose you oh it's just so so unfortunate for you so unfortunate that you're not that awesome and and you know and and interesting that women would just run up and choose you all day you know it, 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 i understand that you know women are passive i understand that women are all over the place i understand that women are indecisive i understand that you know most women are scared to approach guys but i get chosen every day come on guys come on guys seriously like what 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 is what what has happened <laughs> to dudes nowadays where their whole game plan is just to wait for the choosing signals. Again, I'm not against choosing signals. I like when a chick is choosing and I'm attracted to her. That's cool. I'm going to approach. But guess what? I'm going to also approach the girl who's not choosing me. I'm also going to approach the girl who's not giving me those choosing signals. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said before in another video, I was talking about the same topic. A lot of times women, they end up choosing you. When you are, when you have cold approached them, meaning a girl may have not been paying attention to you. You walk up to her, you approach her, you start talking to her and now she's fucking with you. She's like, Oh, I like this guy. Let me, you know, she's getting into it. She wants to talk to you. She gives you the number. You give her your number. You understand? See what, 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 what makes it, what makes this funny to me is this because, you know, I did a video a while ago where I was, I, I was coming from a, um, an event and I, I just, I just went in there and I was chilling cause I, I was, I was trying to go hard cause I was like, I want to see how many chicks are actually going to like, not just check me out, but like approach me. And I, like, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to chill. I'm not going to talk to nobody. You feel what I'm saying? And in that video, I explained that, you know, no girls, you know, actually came up and I had a few that were like three or four that were checking me out. But out of those three or four, <laughs> I only was, I only thought one was cute. You understand what I'm saying? 
And that's another thing about the whole choosing shit is that you're waiting on all these chicks to choose you. And then you got to choose out of the ones that's choosing you. You got to choose out of them. So you're limiting the girls you can talk to. And this is the thing I always wanted to ask all the, the choosing guy the signals guys. Think about this. Let's say me and you are at an event, right? And you're, you're the choosing signal guy. What if there's a chick in there in the event that's bad as fuck? I mean, she's the baddest chick you've seen ever. This like, and she's your type too. This is like your perfect type, bad chick. So you're trying to tell me that if she, just because she's not choosing you, you're not going to approach. You're just not going to approach the baddest chick you've ever seen. You're just not going to approach. Come on, son. Come on, son. The baddest chick you ever seen. And you're not going to approach her because she's not giving you choosing signals. Oh, my goodness. And see, again, like I said earlier in this video, chicks don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're all over the goddamn place. You understand? So what you have to understand is, is that when you're dealing with chicks, whether it's a chick you approach because she was choosing you or a chick that you cold approach, what you also have to understand is, is that a lot of these chicks that you deal with, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Whether it's a chick you're choosing or a chick you cold approach. There's going to be a lot of chicks who it ain't going to work out. Because let's just stick to the choosing part for right now. When you, if a chick is choosing you, you still got to go and approach. She still then has to also choose you again. I'm going to say that again. A chick chooses you. You go and approach. Then she has to choose you again. Now, what does that mean, Mr. Locario? So that means, let's say a chick is checking you out across the room because she thought you was cute. Now you go and approach her and then, then you start talking to her. Now she has to choose you again, meaning that now based off of what you're saying and what you're doing, she has to see if she likes you. She has to see if she still is interested. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times when a chick is choosing you, right? And you're only waiting for that. There's times where you're going to uh, make it harder on yourself, meaning that you just waited for a chick to choose you to approach. But again, she has to choose you again. So instead of having her to choose you again, you could have just cold approached the chick and have her choose you once. You understand? And see, this is, this is the thing that, you know, a lot of dudes don't think about when they're just talking about, oh, I'm just going to wait for her to choose. Again, chicks don't know what the fuck they're, they're doing. They're all over the place. They're all emotional. All of this shit is going on. Now, another thing, too, you got to uh, gotta uh, think about is not only does she like you, do you also vibe with her? See, now you're going to have some dudes who are, you know, I would say extremely desperate. So they'll just fuck with anybody. You understand what I'm saying? Even if she is a psycho bitch, even if she got a bad attitude, even if she's on some bullshit, they'll still fuck with her. But, for, but for, the, for my guys out there who aren't that desperate, you understand, and who, you know, actually want some quality in their life, right? When you deal with chicks, you're still, you still got to also see if you like her, if you vibe with her. So, yeah, the chick is choosing you, but do you want to fuck with her? Do, do you want to fuck with the chick that's choosing you? And what I mean is once you start to interact with her and sort of see what she's about and fill her out, is this the type of chick you want to fuck with? See, this, the funny, let me, you know, t touch on this real quick, you know, because it kind of goes with this. I remember, I think, where was it? I, I did a video and I mentioned in the video that I've dated like, you know, thousands of women and I've slept with about maybe 150, 160 because I stopped counting after 100. But I estimated it's, it's about between 150, 160, right? So I saw some dude in the comment section say some dumb shit talking about, oh, Wait a second, you, you dated a, a thousand something girls and you only had sex with 150? Oh, that's lame. That means you, 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 you know, your, your ratio is lame. You should have had sex with more chicks than that if you went out with all those chicks, right? But what this dumbass doesn't understand, like, I, and what I was talking about before, 
is that when you're dealing with a woman or women, it's not about if they're just choosing you, but are you choosing them? And what I mean is, do you like them? So yeah, I've dated thousands of women, but guess what? I did this thing that, you know, some guys may have not heard of or may not know about called turning down pussy. And so what happened is I had to turn down some pussy because I didn't like the chick. I didn't want to fuck with her anymore because she was on some bullshit. So even though I dated thousands of women, the reason why I've only had sex with 150 or 160 something is because there were women I had to cut off. You understand? And the thing is, when you get more well versed in the game, when you start dating more women, you're going to realize, OK, damn, well, I don't have to just take any woman. I don't got to be on some desperate shit. Right. So I'm not just going to fuck with any chick. So, you know, the whole thing about when dudes is on that cold approach and shit, you know, it's like, OK, you're going to wait for all of that. But the thing is, is that if you were, you know, really on some player shit, if you was really the type of dude who, you understand, like gets a lot of chicks, you see what I'm saying? You would actually have to be the type of guy who cold approaches. You understand? Because the thing is this. Let's say you have a guy who fucking just waits for the choosing signals and then you have a guy that cold approaches. You understand? They both go to a bar. There's a hundred girls in a bar. The guy who cold approached, he approached 80 of the chicks. You understand what I'm saying? The guy who's waiting for choosing signals out of the hundred girls, seven chose him. But then out of those seven, he only was attracted to two. And then out of those two, when he, you know what I'm saying, was talking to those two, he realized, damn, you know, only one of these chicks is, is, I'll fuck with because the other one is on some stupid shit. You understand what I'm saying? So now he got one girl, but the guy who approached 80 chicks got 20 numbers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and out of those 20 numbers, he's probably going to get more than one chick that want to fuck with him. Because I said this in another video, you cannot, when you're, when you're, when you're fucking cold approaching, cold approaching, I mean, not, not cold approaching, when you're waiting for choosing signals, Waiting for choosing can never beat out a guy who's cold approaching. Never. It's not going to happen. See, if you're the type of guy who wants to get married or be in a long-term relationship with one girl, yeah, you can wait for choosing signals. You understand? That's, that's what choosing signals will work for a guy like that. If you're the type of guy who wants to get married... Or be in a long-term relationship with one girl. Choosing signals works for you. And the reason why it works for you is because you're going to be dealing with less women. And so you have less to choose from. And so you, you're like, well, I might as well just stick with this girl because I only have a limited amount of girls to choose from. Again, the guy who cold approaches will always beat out the guy who waits for choosing signals. See, Again, dudes who wait for choosing signals, again, it's, it's a big ego thing. A lot of dudes want to feel like, the, oh, I'm the man. You know, all these chicks want to get with me, blah, 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 all that other shit. That's cool. But if you're the type who wants to get married or have a girlfriend, waiting for choosing signals will work for you. But if you're the type of guy who wants to fuck a lot of bad bitches consistently, you need to cold approach. You understand? You need to cold approach. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man, this shit is going on long. But anyway, but listen, that's all I want to say about that, man. You know, again, if you're in a situation where a chick is choosing you, yes, take advantage of that shit. I'm not downing choosing signals. Choosing signals are cool. It's great. It's awesome. You feel what I'm saying? All I'm saying is don't wait for that shit. Remember, you are a motherfucking man. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. 
Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com